mobility is absolutely going to be key in the wind. The way when that top spin hits the wind, the top spin is going to make that ball dive down faster, right? When that happens, you're going to have to get low. You're going to have to get into these awkward, deep squat, deep lunge positions and still have the strength to hold your balance when you're in a super deep squat, super deep lunge. Because you want to wait for that little moment. If you can keep the ball kind of out of the jet stream, if you can wait extra long before you contact the ball instead of being up tall and then hitting it up high, you want to be low before you contact it so that the ball doesn't get high. It stays here. It stays in extreme wind, maybe antenna height, a couple balls uh, above that. So if we measure time from my contact to my setter's contact, if I stand up tall, and I have the same time, that ball gets a little bit higher into the air and wind can take a little bit more control, right? If I contact it low, then I can have the same time between my forearms and my setter's contact, and that will allow them to control the ball more because the ball will just sit into their hands. It'll almost be at its neutral point in its journey up and down into their hands so that they can control that set better. But if I make that ball go way up above the top of the antenna when it's windy, then that ball has to fall down as the wind is affecting it. And the setter is not going to be able to control that. So I'd rather the ball be almost at its apex when the setter is touching the ball rather than the apex be way above the setter in windy conditions. So mobility allows you to get low. And that will help you make more plays and more control for your setter.